What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I have heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I'll go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. I should talk to Hytham. Cast about this land, my friend. Everyone all right! Help the wounded, and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Circle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. You're finished! Here's a rock for your scalp! Pitiful Nisi! Just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Ah. 
Are you wounded? I'll live, but my men... If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! For Thor! For Ragnar! For Hafner! You owe me your life, old friend. Once again. Halfdan Reknason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> But the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. Not here, not now. Then to Donacaster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? A heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravit. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. You heard the Jarl. Take the gear and start digging. The Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. These Picts are a sneaky lot, masters of guile. Aid me, be my eyes. Masters of guile and ambush. Come, please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. We'll crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow? 
This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... Is when I say we strike. Haftan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Vizier. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Haftan Regnason. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I let the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Haftanjarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Gretjarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here, not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale, and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Like they've all wilted in heat, grown soft, weak. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you a wonder. All this. We conquered this, he and I. Together! You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. 
Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fat of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Heroes of plenty. Oh, you're a Warriors fancy one, many, sitting up in Hafton's tower. With heads that are empty. Would a soul in these lands?
I'm scared for father. Can you see him down there? No, I, I can't see anything. Hey, you! Can you swim? Our father's down there, looking for treasure. He don't fray down deep, but I can't see him anymore. That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet, your father's sword. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now, but with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean... he drowned? Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick, and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food. Then travel to yond. Your father would wish that. <laughs> this world is hard, and the gods care not. That must be fair of its camp ahead.
cold and dirty. Must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a... Faravit! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs scalding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Faravit. The Picts raided that monastery. Plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victories are treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hofton didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravit. I'm here to fight pigs. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The pigs are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. These Picts are a sneaky lot. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care.
thanked Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Places I should be home filling my belly, not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon, and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the <laughs> wall. By my mother! I see you! The pig spoke of Stenweya, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenweya! They spotted us! Run forward! Run! Faster! Faster! Ulf! Ulf! Glory for Ulf! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
picked raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. The Picts don't raid often during winter. Their scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have... Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason. Something to gain. This area is off limits. <laughs> now, to hunt down the Pict chief. Thanks, Eifor.
Fuck! You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. 
Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. All right, we fight. And I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Halfton. Good. Good. Victory is ours. I must return to Donacaster for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. Heroes are plenty, warriors so pay you. My eyes and soul do not deceive me. Looking for a worthy challenger. Slow sips, Hafton. It helps the brew stay down.
Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Feravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Feravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Feravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, wolf kissed. I fought some hard battles at Feravid's side and found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We are to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind and... <sighs> Perhaps you could speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donnecaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donnecaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Beonton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. Oh. You see, ah, Moira is not here. This letter came from Wike. She must have gone there. I should go to Wike, find Moira.
It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Come on out of there, you heathen lover! <laughs> Away from my house, you ruffians! <laughs> you can't hide forever! <gasps> oh, goodness! You... Moira, we must go before they burn your cottage to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right, I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. You give a good scream and fall. Then I'll carry you through the mob as if I've done you serious harm. Oh, Lord above, have mercy. Yes. Fine. I'll do it. Whatever it takes. Are they gone? Die. Thank the light. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Who's out there? Hafton! Good to find you here. The Raven Feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor! Search the perches and lookouts here. He could be spying from above. Olav? Speak to us! Where are you?
He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. Help! Olaf! I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Hey, Anton, may Trakis attack us. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Sniff them out, boy! We will paint the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone... The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's Goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? You have done it. We must hurry.
Eivor, something is there. Hold on. We'll find a way through. Easy now. Something's not right. <coughs> Smells like a trap. Need to be careful here. Help me out here! The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah! Here, you see? Spoils of war! Mine! Stolen from me! I am beset on all sides, Eivor, by plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. Mm. She also said she'd seen your illness before. In her own family, said it came on slow but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. 
Shh. Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravi gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! This is treason, and treason is punishable by death! Faravid treated us better than you ever did. Faravid is nothing, and you are less. Glory! Enough. Glory for Ulfra! Ah, God curse you! You're finished! They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the walls. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringo. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes, yes. Faravid the rat. Words are poison. It...
Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. The songs of skulls and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. It warms my heart that you're concerned. But Hulda and I can hold our drink. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Let's work together.
Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishir answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise! I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. But we need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it, if we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Jor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Jor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. <gasps> I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it is. Aid me. Be my eyes. I'll cost you more than bread. Things were better under Arden. You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Or then I'll you. Let's play. I'm feeling a bit dry. <laughs> Go! 
Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Ferevit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halfdan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Halfdan himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. I can out drink it all, rocks. Avon, join me for a drink. Yourself. Oh. <laughs> you both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. This drinking! Wake me! Find the old sleep, Beato! <laughs> Lessings for the season! Yule goats made with care! <laughs> Not if it happens the way it did last time. Ugh. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhysia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm, yes, yes. Well... If Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. 
sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Farewich should be waiting at Stenweyer. Grant me strength! Where's Haftan Yarl? Will he be here? Hey, Wara! <laughs> Good to see you! Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Luvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Afton doesn't know our plan, but he'll hear the aftermath soon enough.
this plan, I feel uneasy. It will be a good fight. I have faith in it. Fedovit's plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Fedovit's army. Eivor, over here! Are the shields ready? The battle is near. On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days where the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every couple, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword-sharp tongue. Stay back, men! These Picts came in great numbers. They came to fight. If this is a trick, do what you must. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? The kingdom has spoken! Glory for Hafter! <laughs> I will have your head, Rishia! <laughs> Die, you <laughs> bastard fox! Extend the ladders! Charge! And may the Skulls remember us! 
keep on me. I need to get the drawbridge down. for the coward, King Rishia. Oh! Attack! Attack for Hafton! This is the last of them! Two basalt! Bashu action! Taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. Use your glimmer. You can't survive. Yeah. Not for you, sir. Uh, uh. Lock that gate! Don't be in the 
Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness, a, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. Hmm. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends and my allies will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom.
Halfdan is not here! Where is he? Moira, is Halfdan about? Eivor, welcome! Halfdan has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Think you can swim? Go on, steady your balls! And ask her to shake asses with you! But, but, what, I've never danced with anyone before? I need your eyes, my friend. Rishiev, I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. A fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Old friend. Long ago we stormed this sea of wagons under Winter's Blanket. You have stood at my side for many long years. Proudly, brother. Come, let's share the balm of all torment. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. I'll take on all parts. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon! I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Halfdan King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule, Skull! <laughs> <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. She's your weapon, Faravit. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Horse shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? 
If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old friend. Traitor! Kill him! Feed him to the wolves! Die! Yeah. Look at him, Eivor. Is this how a leader should behave? Hafen, come to your senses. The end of our road. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my Jarl. So I will let you win. One last time. We will meet once more in the Corpse Hall. <laughs> Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I am leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this a sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Good to see you, darling. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. <laughs> 